top down analysis, and this time we are doing Audi USD, AUD USD, or Audi USD, whichever name you want to call it. So when you're doing top down analysis, always go to the monthly time frame. There's someone who requested I analyze Audi USD, and this video is for you. If you requested this video, know you're important, and if at all you want me to analyze any pair, just comment down below. And once I spot a pair that many people are requesting so many times, I will analyze that. So the reason why I didn't, by the I didn't trade AUD USD uh, this month of November. Today actually being the last day of the month of no, of the uh, the last day of the October. Uh, I'm I'm very impressed with myself. I didn't trade AUD USD because I had said I don't want to trade it because when I did the analysis come the first day of October. I noticed that it was not friendly. Like, you know, there's the way you can check a chart on a higher time frame, and you will see for sure it is not friendly. So when I was doing top-down analysis, guys, for me, we had um we had this double top. These are very, very uh old double top that has failed to go to the neckline. So we had that double top, and I have been trading that double top to a point I felt that I may be trapped on the way. So we have that double top on Audi USD and then the market broke half. I want you to see the time that the market broke half. We stayed, the market broke half on April, but from April, the market has never gone to the neckline. So it was those trades that you enter and you just get frustrated. Why? Because yes, you think because the market has broken half, it will be an easy, um, an easy way out. But I remember when we entered the trade, even we didn't get many pips in the market for two months, went retraced even we thought that the market will now go back. And then now for the three months, it has since August, September, and now October. And today I've told you it is the last day of October. The three months, the market has been in one place. So making this trade not favorable. So for me, I felt I don't want to get involved in this trade. Why? Because yes, we have a double top, but the double top has shifted uh, to be a double bottom. So yes, we have a double top, but since um, since August, I have kept saying that the market has activated a double bottom, meaning that the market can either break this market and give us WBB and continue to go on upside. So the reason for this double bottom was what made me avoid Audi USD. For me, literally, I avoided Audi USD. Why, number one? Because it's a double top that has never reached neckline and it's a double top that has activated a new double bottom. And for me, I know if I need to enter a double bottom, I need to get um, WBB in place. So the half is still the same. The half of the double top and the half of the double bottom is still the same. So I was hoping this month of October, the candle at least will turn green, maybe come and engulf that so that you can have a buy next month. But I cannot force this trade. According to how things are looking, um, I'm not thinking, you can imagine, let us let me calculate how many pips this market dropped. In the month of October, the market dropped how many pips? Imagine only 166 pips. That's what the market dropped. It didn't drop so many pips, just the movement of the market. So if you want to trade a pair that is not volatile, I can really recommend Audi USD. Audi USD is a very, very nice pair, more so because it's not volatile and you can be able to put a very good stop loss and Maybe you can even put 20 pips stop loss and it won't be hit. So if you have been looking for a pair, you're a beginner, you've been looking for a pair to trade and you want a pair that is not volatile, Audi USD is one of the pair that you can choose. Now having the double bottom in place, for me, what we know here, the thing that people don't understand, the sell is already supported on the monthly, but the buy is not supported. So in the month of October, I will not find myself buying Audi USD. But if I get chances of selling, I will not fear to sell. Why? Because you can imagine if this, the next month, if they break here, if they break this neckline, do you know they'll be going this direction? Like if this that neckline is broken, 
this market is coming that direction. So I don't have fear selling now. In the month of October, in the month of November, Audi USD for me, I will only look for sell positions rather than buying. For me, I don't think I'll buy because for me to buy, monthly has to support me. Uh, so I'm not looking for buy opportunity. I'll be looking for sell opportunity. So I have I have um, Audi USD, I'll only look for sell opportunity. And to look for sell opportunity, I need double tops, inverted cup and handle, ranging channel breakout support. So for me to look for sell opportunity, I need to see those things. So let's go to weekly time frame and see if we have a sell opportunity. I hope you guys you have understood why we don't want to look for buy. Looking for buy, you need at this double bottom to get activated, to get activated by a green candle, then you take it bullish and So buy has a criteria that this market has not yet meant. And even when we don't have a green candle, it means not having a green candle, it is delaying our buy opportunity. Rather than just closing the trade and say, at a, we don't want to trade because we don't have WBB, automatically we are biased because who have said that this market will buy? This market has already given us a sell confirmation. And because a buy confirmation is not there, it is good for us to do what? To trade the sell that you have been given. So I will go on the weekly time frame, guys. And again, what am I looking for? I'm looking for sell opportunity. On the weekly, I have, um. let me show you. On the weekly, there was this, this ranging channel. Can you see? There's this ranging channel that broke. So for me, I'm believing that this ranging channel can be used for the market to do what? To, for the market to take this sell down. So maybe there's opportunity for this sell to continue. And uh, my eyes are opened on this sell so that if I get any opportunity, I'll be looking forward. And you see, it didn't come to half. So it has a chance to hit that half. So for me, Audi USD, um, you can go to the to the weekly time frame, spot that channel, mark the way I've marked, and now I'll tell you what to do. Make sure you have marked what I've marked and I'll tell you what to do. So you can see even from the from this, we got a small one candle ranging. And I told you guys, when you have a one candle ranging, the market has to go that distance of one candle ranging. Can you see now the market has started to support the cell? And you see the cell will come to that area of that one candle ranging. So where the market is now, we are just hoping that the market will do what? Will give us a sell opportunity. Because yes, it is a sell confirmed, but not a sell entry. So let's go to daily and see if we have a sell entry. Let's go to daily. We see we have a sell entry. Again, on the daily, we have one candle ranging. So if the market break that area on the sell, that will be the first indication of the market will sell. So you see, we have a one candle ranging, the one we have been talking about. Let's go on four hour and see. On four hour, do you do we have a place where we can we can target a sell? So on four hour, you can see um, we don't have a pattern yet. We do not have a pattern yet. So at, at the end of the day, for me, I want to look for like a double top. That's that's the only thing for me. I believe it has it has good confirmation. Let's see if this double top is available on the day. So for me, I will wait for a double top or a, or a, or a ranging inverted cup and handle. I don't like trading because as I have seen a sell candle, no. So that that's where the the double top is on the on the daily. So it can be on the daily, and mind you, it is not on the weekly. Let's see if it is on the weekly. I don't think it is in the weekly. It's not on the weekly. So meaning that's our zones where we want to sell that market. So when the market reaches that area, I'll be looking for sell. So my stand here is not buy. I'm not thinking to buy out USD in the month of October. For me, I'll be thinking of selling rather than buying. I'll think of selling rather than buying. So that is my analysis, guys. There is nothing, I can't say there is nothing much to it. 
but my buyers are on sale than to buy because from a higher time frame, the market has supported sale all through. For all those months, the market is supporting sale. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you'll have a good analysis on Audio SD. All the best. Love you.